Alrighty, welcome back to Core Keeper. I've done some uh, off-camera stuff, as you can see. Got a little cooking area started and a little crafting area. You know, I don't really have much to work with just yet, especially since I can't find tin. So apparently, like everything needs tin, at least where I'm at. And I only have like, let me see here. I only have. You know, 138 copper and one tin. I have more iron than I have tin. That's probably because we found the hand mortar, which is pretty cool. But I have I have found some stuff. I haven't done any of the things I found. Um, some interesting things that I don't remember uh, that were in the game. And I also found the the slime boss. He's like actually really close to the house. Um, right here, this is going to be a little storage area. But. First, I wanted to check out this. Like, this is going to be a farm. But this right here. I have no idea what this is going to be about. So let's find out what it is. Can I break it? Golden Heartberry. One eaten, nine food. Uh, three health recovery seconds. Okay, a very rare material or variant of the common Heartberry. Okay. Does it do anything other than... Doesn't seem like it can do much. I might look into that. I know there's some food in the game that you get permanent buffs for. Now. So, I don't think that's... This, this might be one of them. You might have to do something with it. So, I don't know. I'll look into that later. Let's throw this over here. Um, all that was... Now, I did... I was mining, I did a lot of mining, a lot of clearing of the area, and I found this over here. Oh, well, let's go in combat. Melee attack speed. Found this over here. So I don't know what this is about, but we're gonna see. Uh, a mysterious doll set. Okay. A pair of green dolls wearing clothes. Sitting together, they look like great pals. Okay. Uh, you know, I'll keep that there. We'll keep that there. Well, there's that. There's that. That was out of here. I'm so glad I found this thing. And then I also found, I found a few more copper chests, and I found a single key. I don't know, um, and where, by the way, where I found the key was where the slime boss is. But I don't know if I have, if it's only works for one chest, but we're gonna find out. Find out. Uh, yeah. Looks like it. Oh. A tin axe! Okay, well that was already worth it. I was hoping to find maybe just tin. Uh, ammo night? Ammo night? I don't know. A triangle trinket, fiber. Uh, I guess we get a free copper chest. Hopefully we can find more locked keys. They have two more, or locked, or just keys, gosh. I found these as well, so I guess this is how you spawn the Tueria boss. We're gonna try to do that in today's episode as well. Oh no, I do keep the copper key. No, we're definitely opening these now. 100%. 100%. Unless... Okay, Swift Feather, that actually might be useful for the boss fight. I don't have... Mom. Do, do I have to break the chest to get the key back? Or was there a key in there and I just didn't notice? Well, <laughs> honestly, I don't know. Um, this is offhand, right? 
I'm, I'm gonna need this. That's gonna help me with the instant boss, definitely. Yeah, I was about to sound like something going. I guess we'll just keep this here just in case we run into a copper key. Oh, no, I don't want that there. I want these here. My valuables. I don't want that there either. Um. Okay, let's organize some of this stuff. As you can see, I have it kind of organized. Not much. I've done some some cooking. Just been throwing random materials. Probably gonna do movement speed. Throw the rest of these in here. Okay. Nope. We're gonna take these with us. Gonna throw these chests in here. Um, and then we're gonna go off. We're gonna fight. King Slime. I don't know what he's called, but he's basically the King Slime. And then after we fight him, and hopefully win, uh, we're also going to fight the King Slime. The actual King Slime. Uh, we'll throw this in here. The rest of the stuff we'll probably get. Anyways. Well, I want to move my shield and stuff. Alright. So... I spent all this time last episode over here looking for King Slime, but he's actually just literally down here. I mean, I mean I'm going the long way. As you can see, the screen is shaking. And there he is. This is the slime boss. This is the first boss you're expected to fight in this game. And he can be difficult. Um, you might notice that there's slime on the ground. This actually slows you down. And it also um, it has a chance for a slime to spawn out of it. So if you're if you have a base and there's slime around it and you're annoyed with the slimes, just take the slime out. Just use a shovel, and the slimes won't spawn on there no more. And slimes have a chance to to spawn slime puddles or whatever they're called, or ground slime. But we're gonna attack this boss and we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna need one of these. Get a slight movement speed. Alrighty. Do this. Yeah, this is not gonna be hard. It's only gonna be hard when I'm walking to slime like this. Now, I don't have really anything overpowered. Okay, he doesn't like that. Okay, this is when he can be difficult. Easy peasy. The only thing that I have that would help me essentially is just this thing. I got really lucky with this. I don't like how dark it became now. Throw some torches. Well, that was an easy boss. Let's see what we get. Um, nothing really. Is oh, 10. Thank God. <laughs> oh, we need that. Alright. We'll use these as a chest. And we're gonna spawn the Terraria boss. I think, yeah, I just have to, uh, on a giant slime thing. I've never, I don't know if this is a different boss fight altogether or is it just a reskin boss fight, but we're gonna go fight. Okay. Look at that. All right, let's attack him. Dude, it, it plays Terraria music, it's awesome. I should be really careful. There, I'm actually gonna go. Oh, he's he's stronger. Okay, this is the actual boss fight. Alright. Oh, what happened there? Sometimes it does 33 damage, sometimes it does more. I guess if it actually hits him or not. Okay. It's awesome to hear the Terraria music. I'm just trying not to blow myself up as well. Okay. 
Okay, I'm, I'm, we're really close here. I might need this to get another speed boost. Oh, I can shoot him while he's in the air, too. I didn't know that. Yeah, I got really lucky to find this hand mortar. It's against then against King Slime, it's not that powerful. And I'm kinda worried uh, if he has a second phase. Which knowing this game and Toria What? He doesn't have a second phase in expert mode, I don't think. I'm glad Slime's gonna do contact damage. Oh no, he stomped on the slime! They, oh, I thought I, I almost hit myself there. Sometimes it just blows up. I don't under. Maybe it's because I'm clicking and it blows up. Oh, I just hit myself. This is exactly what I was worried about. But I am literally one shot. I just need to keep healing every or eating every once in a while. I keep healing. I mean, this has been straightforward, just going in a circle. Nothing too crazy. And I've been more of a threat to myself than uh, the boss. But I have a feeling he's going to start jumping really fast. I still have a decent amount of durability left. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting. Oh, okay. This is. Do damage. Okay. Yep. Yep. Just keep going. Just keep running. And I'm sure it doesn't feel good if he hits me, so. Oh my god, dude. No, no, no. We're still good, though. We're still good. I have to be careful when he jumps like that. Okay. So. I killed myself. He didn't even hit me once. I just killed myself. Hopefully, I don't have to respawn him. Um, we're going to fight him again. This time, I'm probably going to speed through it for the video sake. So, yeah. Yeah, that kinda, that's kind of silly. I'm going to repair this real quick. Running. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's silly. Um, oh, please tell me, I... <sighs> okay, let me go get my stuff, and then we'll fight him, because, yeah, I, that's not enough durability. Please. Thank you. There it is. Alright. Big ol' skill issue moment there. Big ol' skill issue moment. Let's go repair this and we're gonna fight him again. Um, I just think it just takes. 
Now I could um, reinforcement, but I don't think it would matter. Yeah, I don't like how it just makes it dark. Let's talk to you real quick. Oh, I still have to do, uh, of course he doesn't sell tin. I still need to figure out what to do with the egg. I can make an incubator. I just haven't done that yet. Um, let's get rid of some of this. Just a little bit of this. It ultimately doesn't matter. Yeah, this doesn't matter. He's just going to put it down. Kill him. Hey, um, it's Future Ben here. Um, I just want to thank you guys and whoever's watching this. I've been recording videos for maybe a little over a week now, and this whole thing has been an experience. Um, I never realized how, how long it takes to record a single video, and essentially how difficult it was at the very beginning. And I have learned a lot um from this past week and you know recording itself isn't that difficult but the editing process um is becoming easier over time but it takes up so much time i'm still in the process of editing the video you see on screen and i'm not even halfway through it and it's probably been a little over an hour or so thank you for watching and listening i know it's probably about one or two people I know my first Binding of Isaac video got is my most popular, which is not popular by any means. It has 30 something views on it, which is still insane to me that would someone would knowingly watch that video. And uh, one thing I learned through this experience is that I actually enjoy editing uh, and recording my own videos. So this has been a fun experience, even though I'm only a week in. You know, every day I've been learning something new in my editing software, and, you know, I'm still trying to figure things out. You know, like, for example, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to not be able to hear my computer fan, because, uh, and I apologize if you can hear that, um, I can hear it too, and it's driving me crazy. I also realize that, you know, I sound like a complete idiot, and, you know, hearing my voice over and over again was not easy. Uh, for the first time because I've never really heard my voice before so you know if you feel like I sound like an idiot It's probably because I do and I, I am one. I mean, you know, I literally skilled issued um, The last episode just constantly killing myself with my own weapon and I even do it in this episode So thank you guys again for watching and listening and I'm going to let it go back to the episode. Thank you guys Oh, Slippery shinobi Yes. Okay. Oh, healing potion. Journey's beginning. Any nearby enemies movement speed is slowed down by... You are the king of slimes. Uh, 12 a max health, 11 armor. I assume that's a helmet. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put this stuff away. Gosh, I'm so glad we <laughs> that took forever, but we got it done. Let me actually put this on. That's a helmet, right? It is. Look at me. I have a crown. Let's, for the sake of things, I will fight him again, uh, probably off camera. Yeah, I'm probably gonna replace these chests because these just just so much better. Um, just all this stuff in here for the time being. Um, gee, I got the copper key. Maybe I just, I, I don't know. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. Well, you know, that would have been much nicer. <laughs> it would have been much nicer. Oh, man. That would have been much nicer.
Let me actually see how it shoots. Yeah, nothing like shooting in your own home. And we got some more tin. Hopefully this is actually enough tin. Just throw here. We'll put this we'll put this over here so we can move in. I don't know if you'll actually move in. I don't know if there has to be doors, which I know I don't have any. We'll get this. Since we killed our first boss, this actually would go in here. No. Make some of this stuff. Anything with 10 is, is annoying to deal with, so, so far. And the next is the Hive Mother, which we actually already found. Uh, yeah. Over here. She goes in a big circle. I don't know if it's a big circle like around here or somewhere else, but yeah. We'll probably fight her fairly soon. I do want to get better gear. Is this an offhand? Where I just threw it in here. Is this an offhand thing. And I don't know. Maybe I kind of like. We'll so we'll see. I grabbed the wrong thing. Take this anyway. It's also huge. What does two? I am the king of slimes, so I assume slimes are not uh, hostile towards me. Um, where can I throw this? We'll just throw this right here. A little bit of decoration. Should that we have done that? All right, and then we'll just throw some of this stuff in here. We don't need it. We'll still keep you. Five and let's make eight. Okay. So we'll need two more in order to get this, which hopefully, I, I hope none of that stuff requires 10, but over the way things are going, they definitely do. All right. What's in there? I don't actually know how to free fight the slime boss, because I would, because if I could do that, I can farm for 10 that way. Maybe we can refight him by just pushing down some slime. I, I don't know how to spawn you, slime man. I have to look it up, I guess. You're gonna be out. Yeah. Slimes don't hurt me. Best friends. Alright. So we need to find two more tin. And honestly, I don't know where where we're gonna find it. Well, we'll I'll do that stuff later. I don't know where we're gonna find it. He's not selling any, and I can't really do anything about it. I don't actually talk to you. It seems... okay. Sure. Honestly, I really don't know how I feel about them not being able to... I'm not being able to hurt them. Or destroy them. Just because they're just gonna be annoying. And they don't... obviously they don't drop the materials. I can't kill them. So. Um, we'll actually make an incubator. Since we're at that point now. Uh, copper and glass. Well, I mean, I don't have much copper, so I don't know if we can make it. Incubator. Um. Throw it right here. And then I have an egg. Does it require power? It requires power. Interesting. We might look into this a little bit later, because 
Do I need 10 for any of these things? Because if I do, I might be upset. Lamp. Electricity generator. How big is that? That kind of looks weird right there, but you know what? Take it. Lively egg. Cracked lively egg. Okay. Kind of annoying how it makes it sound, but we'll deal with it. Might as well make the railway forge. I don't know if I'm actually going to do anything with it just yet. But we can make it so. Um, yeah, we just need ten. Two more pieces. Gold. Yeah, I'm getting gold, dude. Gosh. Now, this is interesting. Maybe we can find some t uh, tin here. I just need two more pieces. What is there? Oh. A hole? There's a hole, okay. Triple uh, hit chance. Yeah, no, I have a better one already. What did I get? A bunch of random stuff? Oh, oh, I got ten. Just need one more, please. Please, just one more ten. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Well, at least we're, we're, we're just that much closer. And I bet you that I'm gonna need more ten anyways. How far are we? That seems about right. Okay. I'll actually go the other way. What does it say? Commonly found in clay walls. And are these cl This is dirt walls. In clay walls. Okay. You know, it'd be helpful if I would, like, actually read some of this stuff. Oh, there's a chest! God, please have Tim. You'd be a- I'll, I'll love you forever, chest. But don't be locked, either. No. Oh. I mean, you could have those, too. I don't have an inventory. I'll pick those up later, I guess. Okay, yeah, I forgot I can't do it on myself. Good. What am I doing? Okay, the clay caves. Okay. <laughs> cool. Iron key? Okay. Okay. I haven't found an iron chest. That'll be exciting once I do. Hopefully I can get something cool. I'm just gonna open it and it's gonna be like 10-10 and it's gonna be like, oh, fantastic. We can take this stuff now. Yeah, well, uh, let's just do this. Um, 
Yes, I keep pressing us. This always pops up. I'll grab some of this wood over here since it's here. Hopefully this stuff isn't too hard to break. Yeah, it's not hard at all. But we're gonna get a bunch of clay. This, I mean, I did say clay, right? Because technically we are. But I meant. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah. yeah my, my technology is more advanced. Yeah. I see you over there, though. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Okay, I'm cornering myself. I wasn't friendly. Okay, I actually have to hit that. Get all the wood. Oh, is this ten? It, it's gold. <laughs> oh, the first ore we found isn't even ten. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I picked up the lantern. Better than an old one. I somehow have 410. It's probably been breaking this stuff. What is that? It's mine. A ten sledge tin sledgehammer. Um and walls? So is it for mining? Is that what this is for? Oh, it definitely is. That's awesome. Get the slime out of here. I don't actually need those. No, we'll pick up the clay wall. What? 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 Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Stay back. I don't like those things. I think this is 10. Yeah, they're, they're gonna... It's gonna suck, because they're gonna come out over here and break... You know what, um... I know you're there. You know, actually, I'm just gonna kill these guys. They're just gonna keep being annoying. No, I would like my torches. So, these guys like to destroy torches because they don't like light. There's no more of you, right? Man, I literally just walked into that. Cool now, right? We're cool. We're cool. It doesn't say how much mining damage this does. 48 mining damage. That's what it says. Plus another 49. I do want to be picking up the copper. Oh, my, what is that? It's the... Probably the boss lady. Bug man thing. And the music in this game is pretty good. Oh, I am... Character is getting hungry. 
Just like real life, I get hungry every five seconds too, so I can relate. We're back, and it's time to do some smelting. Um, we just put that there, and perfect, just perfect. Um, okay, let's throw this stuff in here first. Let's throw these lanterns in here. Can I actually scrap this? I'm genuinely curious. If I can scrap this, didn't that be pretty cool? I can. <laughs> wow. What an investment that was. What an investment. That was probably worth it. Dude, I got more from that than. Was, it's probably more worth it to sell. Can I even sell it? Uh, I guess the value doesn't show up. Let's uh, we'll put some some other things in here. I forgot what I was gonna put in here. Um, I think that's actually it. And that's smelting. This should be almost done. Yeah. There's just nothing yet. I actually want my wood on me. No. Oh. Do this in here. Well, I'll organize this stuff all again later. And then I do all. I'll do all this farming off, off the recording. Most of the boring stuff, I edit out anyways, which hopefully isn't the whole video, but probably is. to start getting more ingredients. I could do more of these. Yeah, almost one on one. Tin such ever. Now I'm sure the tin we have is like not enough whatsoever. But it's definitely gonna help. I don't actually have the iron on me. Iron. I just kind of skipped um, the anvil, didn't I? I just wanted to make this. That's fine. So, um, we're gonna go in next episode. We're probably just gonna go ahead and, and focus on getting iron bars. Or, I mean, this is the next step anyways. Yeah, uh, uh, definitely next step. I might still make this uh, uh, tin anvil. I'm definitely gonna still make it. It might seem like a waste, but maybe I can... It was a waste. <laughs> it was, it was, I mean, I can make bronze. I can make bronze, I guess. Uh, but no, I'm going to be focusing on... On just iron. Got jewelry. Scarlet workbench. Scarlet board. Photography table. Key casting table. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Planks. But I'm actually gonna probably go ahead and end the episode here. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, uh, I'm, I'm very glad. Um, you know, recording has been somewhat of an experience for me. Um, I'm, I'm learning over time. It's getting easier and easier. Um, and hopefully I'm creating less cringy content. But, you know, then again, that's not really up to me to decide. But if you like this, please subscribe. And I genuinely hope you have a great day. Thank you.